All right. So, what are your thoughts on last night's finale, both of you? Um, I'm super happy with it, actually. Um, I'm surprised that John made the move to to cut Netta. I really thought he was actually going to take her, but it was the smart move. Um, I think it it could have really been a toss up if she got there. I think that she probably might have won. So, uh, and plus, John John's my boy from Newfoundland. I, I love him to death, and and I'm, I'm really happy for him. Really happy for him. Definitely. Yeah, I'd say, you know, congratulations to John. I think it was, uh, it, he demonstrated some amazing ability to play the game, uh, which I underest underestimated at the beginning. Same with Netta. She deserves, uh, you know, a big up hand for that. And I'm happy Sabrina got second place. Um, my dad definitely was supporting her all the way through it. Uh, you know, and it was a great opportunity for um, Paul and I to show that, uh, you know, everything that happens in the game uh, isn't always the way it works out when you're in the real world. So. So if you guys had a vote in the jury, who would you have given it to and why? Um, for the final two that yes. were there? Oh, John, 100%. Like, no no doubt about it. I mean, Sabrina did play great first half of the game, I think. Um, I don't think her second half was that great. It was kind of just getting brought along as a cushion to sit next to to win kind of thing. So I totally would have went for John because he, he played a great game. I mean, he came in as a beast. He played a great social game. Everybody loved him. He came in as a beast at the end. He won so many challenges and POVs and, and had a household. So um, I totally would have went for John, definitely. And, and for me, I mean, the, the answer is obvious. There's a lot of people out there that've got some, uh, you know, negative feelings towards Sabrina for the way that she was portrayed in the house and the way that she is. And I just want to say to everyone, having you know gone through a little bit of that myself, that you know, being there and, and understanding that uh, the way people are depicted isn't always the case. And so my heart goes out to her, and I would have given her my vote because she's going to need all the support that uh, she can get. So, so following your evictions, uh, who did you guys find yourselves rooting for from home? Um, um, well, I was rooting for Sarah, Kenny, Alice, and Sabrina when I was <laughs> home, and then I saw I saw Mumsy and Kenny get booted, and uh, Allison was there, and Allison's my girl, so I was hoping that uh, she would take it, but uh, I was just happy to well, reconnect yeah. with this guy outside. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was fun. But I, I don't know, I went from, I, I jumped back and forth, like I went from early, because I, I respected the game move that he did by flipping and getting me out, I thought it was great, he, he played an amazing game, but then I flipped over to Allison, because it was kind of like this, you know, she's from Newfoundland, I love her, I thought she's, she has a great knowledge of the game, and then it went to, um, um, Netta. Then, then I realized that Netta was like this amazing mastermind because she was so under the radar. Like I thought she was riding John's coattails for the longest time, but it turns out that she was more so kind of steering the wheel. So I was just like jumping back and forth and back and forth. And I thought Netta and John were, they played really good games and it came down to like likability basically and that's why I kind of went with John because I had kind of a more of a, a relationship. 100% all my all my decisions are based on the, the relationships I have with them in the house yeah. and outside but she does deserve a lot of credit and I've told her to her face that she played a good game and I was definitely not aware of it. Well, yeah. 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 Fair enough. So for Andrew, uh, Paul commented on how you were a different guy outside of the house. So do you think when you went back and watched the show, were you given a fair edit to Canada get to see the real you? Well, uh, first off, I haven't watched all of the show, um, but on in behalf on behalf of my family, uh, my mom and my dad, my brothers, my best friends know me the best. Say so I was portrayed uh, pretty fair for the parts that they showed. But at the end of the day, what Paul's getting at, what Kenny would say, what anyone would say, is that in a show, they're able to show, they're able to portray certain as aspects of you in correct ways, but they're not able to show, you know, how complex a person is as a whole. I mean, we all, as individuals, whether you're on Big Brother or not, have different sides to us that, uh, you know, other people aren't able to see. And that's up to anyone if they're out there and they and they want to know that about me, that's up to them to find out, right? Yeah. Um, for both of you, was there anything in particular that surprised you um, watching the show at home? Oh, well, the war room, obviously, that blew my mind. I knew that was a door, though. Like, I was at that door all the time, but I obviously didn't know there was three people on the other side, <laughs> so that kind of blew my mind. And also, Netta, how well she really played, because she did, she was so under the radar in the house. Like, literally, when I first went in the house, my first impression was kind of like, I'm, I'm nervous of her because she watches and she listens and she doesn't speak very much but then that kind of just became who she was so you almost forgot about her yeah and then she became this like 
mastermind from home. So Netta being so amazing and the war room for sure. I agree with Netta for sure. That's something I would I was surprised by and like had to just kind of you know accept it and be like, well, you know, good for her. Uh, Arlie flipping sides and and also I you know I've already told him I thought he was a dummy. He's a very smart guy and a great actor and great well convincing. Did a great job convincing us that uh, he was a, a an underdog and he was a sleeper and he did he did an amazing job. And then uh, my best buddy in the house being gay. That kind of, that, that kind of threw me off. Well, obviously it hasn't changed anything. You've seen us out about and you've seen us here. But it was, I think, uh, your face was yeah, yeah. Get it. <laughs> Kent, when he came out to me in the diary room confession, that was literally blew my mind. I didn't sleep at all that night. It was hilarious. <laughs> so lastly, what was your favorite part about the whole experience? For me, it's uh, meeting a buddy like this. So I'd say that, and you know, out meeting Allison, um, meeting Sarah. Uh, you know, connecting with Sabrina and having the relationships, and I mean, everyone as a whole. I don't want to take anyone out of that, but we all establish close relationships with certain people. And yeah. I've walked away with this uh, with an experience that most people in the world will never get. And I've formed uh, relationships that I know will last me the rest of my life with people that are, um, you know, outstanding. Yeah, I, I don't want to second that. Like um, most people, when they leave this, they don't meet people that they know that are going to be in your life for the rest. Of it. So it was it's kind of a beautiful thing that um, I got to you know, meet up and, and connect so you know profoundly with these people, but also the challenges. I mean, I'm a huge competitive person and I'm like, yeah. oh, it killed me not to play in every single one of them. And I know that kind of worked against me in a way because yeah. I, I put a huge target on my back as a competitor. But it's so hard. Like I went in there saying, I'm not gonna win. I'm I'm gonna you know step back and let them pick each other off. But then you're in the moment, you're there, and it's like, I want to win. I want to push you down, and I want to take this. Yeah. Like it's it's really hard to hide hide it. If you got that, if you have that kind of personality, and yeah, it's, yeah, it's impossible to, to. I can't even play board games with my friends because yeah. I get too competitive. <laughs> yeah, we almost got in a fist fight in Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for thank your time. You. Thanks, guys.